e -rev. Applied directly to the forehead. e -rev. Applied directly to the forehead. e -rev is not responsible for any monitor to head-related injuries due at your own risk. Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Erev TV once again where tonight we're going to cover some SIBO A action here. We've got to show uh, SIBO A some love here and we're going to have Ray's Gaming going up against Lightning Bolt. And uh, this is the first uh, match for both of these teams. Again, this is uh, SIBO A just starting out here. And uh, this should be a rather interesting uh, matchup between these two teams. Uh, if you uh, looked at Gottfrag as of late, they did a little uh, article on both teams. So uh, it kind of helped us out a little bit, so to hype up the match a little bit. And so we're hoping that uh, this should turn out to be a pretty decent matchup between these two teams. I'm your host, Anger, and co-casting with me tonight, you know her, you love her, Temerity. Hello, Tam. 
Hello, I think that love thing might be stretching out a little bit, though. Hey, 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 everybody loves women. Regardless. <laughs> <laughs> On the video! The man, the myth, the legend, Limek. Hello, Limek, from Canada. Hey, good night, guys. Uh, it's going to be a good match tonight. Hopefully not as long as the other one. And uh, speaking of women, my woman's going to bed right now. So, honey, give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Good night. And, uh, yeah, action's on. <laughs> All right. And uh, I guess one time wasn't enough for this gentleman. But back by popular demand from Pandemic, the Fragile. Hello, Fragile. What's going on, bro? Not a lot. <laughs> you sound really thrilled and happy. He's so excited. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> these are, I, I love these two teams. They're a bunch of nerds that are pretty chill. All right, well, we're going to talk about these two teams. And Temerity and I, we were watching at least one of the teams uh, scrim last night. And we know how important the scrims are, Temerity, as uh, a lot can be said about a team or really nothing at all. But... At least when we watch Lightning Bolt, what we got from it, at least in my opinion, um, you know, the defense was a little lacking there, I guess you could say, uh, for Lightning Bolt. And that's something that they're going to really have to work on, especially uh, if they get put pushed back a little bit on their heels. So I don't know what you took from it. At least that's what I got from it, from the Lightning scrims that we watched. So, uh, but again, things can change in a match, and they're probably just working on some stuff, but uh, you never know. There's something to look at there, Tim, huh? Yeah, that's about what I got from it, too. I mean, should the situation arise where Raze is found defending their two, or sorry, not Raze, Lightning Bolt is found defending their two, they have got to watch the top level because they were getting flanked like there was no tomorrow on their scrim last night. So it'll be interesting to see if they learn from that at all or if they just kind of do -be do -be do about it. Yep. Dee -dee -dee. And uh, we didn't get much uh, look at Raze, but I'll tell you this much. I know a couple of the players there, uh, I've casted him in COD 4 at a land in California oh, about four months ago, five months ago, give or take. And uh, you, you pretty much know who lost causes in Cyrax. They played uh, Quake back in the days if you come from that community. So you kind of know or, or, or are familiar with these two individuals, especially uh, lost cause. So you'll see them here. Both of them are going to be running the scouts for Raze. And uh, I'm going to be interested to watch them perform. Uh, I've watched them up again, like I was saying, in COD 4, and they did pretty well at that land. They placed, I believe it was second uh, in that land in California. So they had some pretty decent skills in COD 4. Uh, a little bit different game, entirely different game uh, here at TF2. A lot, a lot more uh, uh, team-based format here, of course, in TF2. So we'll see how it's going to gel here with this team. And I know that you've seen them at a land also, Temerity. Uh, maybe if you want, you want to talk a little bit about that with Ray's. Yes, sir. Um, a few of the members from Rays were, mem were members of the uh, third place team Rage Quit. Surprising third place team Rage Quit, might add. Um, they took third place at Envision this past summer, so it'll be interesting to see if they, obviously they enjoyed their chemistry together if they wanted to make a team, and it'll be interesting to see how they play out. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we're going to do a little predictions here based off a little of what we saw, and I'm pretty much a lot of guessing here, being that it is the first map of week number one for uh, Cibo A. So I guess I'll put myself on the line first. I'm going to go with raids, and I believe this one shall go, I would say, maybe what, 5-2? Mm, uh, I'll give a couple of rounds to Lightning Bolt. Now, they may surprise me, and just like with the last match that we casted, uh, both of you guys were involved in that, at least in the casting perspective, we picked uh, Sway, and really, we got stunned. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we got stunned again, but I'm not sure about this one. But I'm going to say 5-2, to two, Temerity. What you calling, girl? I'm going to say 5-1 or 5-2 as well. After, uh, after watching Lightning Bolt's scrum last night, I'm not entirely sure they're capable of the close and edge of your seat game that we saw the other night but you know, anything could happen but still I'm going to say 5-2 for Rays. Alright Fragit and I'm going to put you on a low spot here I'm not, I'm not sure if you're familiar or play, scrimmed a couple of these teams before or know the players real well but I'll, I'll put you on the line a little bit there uh, Fraj. Well, what are you going to go with bro? Well I saw uh, you know Rage quit on land which is mostly or at least halfway Rays uh, but I have played a lot with uh, both of these teams, and I want to say maybe 5-3 Rays, but I think it comes down to whoever wants to be in the uh, Catface Club more will be the victors tonight. Yep, yep. 
All right, looks like oh, we're just. Are you kicking just, people uh... out of the club? No. <laughs> Just promote. He's kicking the losers out of the club, that's what it is. <laughs> the losers oh, love to wear like... a sad, uh, sad cat face. Oh, not the sad cat face. Meow. Alright. <laughs> Starting lineups, ladies and gents. Uh, for Lightning Bolt, we're going to start with them first. Uh, we're going to go with JK, Big Thirst, uh, Two Step, Sure, G Bear, and that will be Gummy Bear until he gets a little harder. We'll call him Gangster Bear and Notorious. As the action is going to get started here, uh, for Rays, we have a uh, big nasty, or tech, or see, nasty fan, lost cause, die, uh, hit, hit it, duck, evolution, and Cyrex. And evolution is evil, so we know him as evolution. So looks like we're about to get things rocking and rolling here in a little bit, as it looks like we're going to get the uh, players here to the middle. And here we go, it's a little scout. Uh, 2v2 scout action here at the center point off the start here. And it uh, looks like the Reds trying to get on that center CP right now, but uh, they're just pretty much teasing themselves and teasing the blue side, so nothing going on. Pretty much uh, what we've seen on Monday's match, uh, the soldiers boosting themselves up uh, to the top there, but now it looks like they've taken the lower ground. The scouts have gotten the higher ground uh, walking that beam uh, from the blue side. That would be the red. And here comes a soldier and a med here, Evolution, along with uh, a Nasty Fan. And Nasty Fan, I believe... Uh, that is going to be JK for, uh, or excuse me, I'm sorry there, it's going to be Mr. X. So Mr. X here as the medic for the red side, and then again, that is raised. The blue side will be lightning, and uh, the red side will get the center CP awfully pretty quick here, uh, Temerity off the start. That would actually be Ms. Rex, as uh, Ms. Rex is a female in the medic for Rays. So uh, nice catch there. Yeah, my bad. So now they're back, hitting back to the uh, the uh, blue side, uh, Lightning number two, and this is where we saw Lightning have a lot of trouble here. Uh, let's see if they can come out of this uh, in you know from their scrims and and had a uh, just learned a lesson here. So here they go. Uh, they're holding out the number two, and the red side looks like they're attacking, coming from the red side, their right side into the, the number two right now. We have it looks like hit a duck going up against a scout. Nothing going there. Lost cause coming around the side and the red is on this point times four now. Make it times five and they got it really quick here in the number two. This first round may go really, really quick here uh, at, in the favor of Rays as they're just coming out very, very strong. We have an early Uber here uh, from the Rays side as they're moving into the uh, last CP here for Lightning. Trying to hold it off here. Lightning doing a nice job here, Temerity. Uh, as they're trying to defend it, they weren't seeing this quite yesterday in the screens, but now they're seeing it now being pushed back very quickly here and very fast. Lightning Bolt did very well to hold on to that Uber there. Um, I have expected them to pop it just as the counter Uber like most teams do, but they did very well to hold on to it, and as a result, I think they have the advantage right now. Abs absolutely. Now they're pushing back. Now hopefully they can get a, uh, to their number two quickly. They have two dead from the red side uh, of Raze. Uh, looks like Raze is pushing out the demo man. Uh, Hit a duck is doing some damage here. Hit a duck is one of the players you need to watch for as the demo uh, when I was talking to Raze. So uh, we'll t definitely keep an eye on him. As he gets taken out there by JK with assist for sure. So a uh, nice kill there from the uh, demo of sure. Uh, right now the red back on here defending the number two of the blue side. Uh, so right now Evolution back on there and defending it well along with Dai, the two soldiers here for Rays. Uh, we have Miss X, uh, Mrs. X here uh, for the medic here for the Rays side and they're holding it off here pretty pretty well here. Uh, two members for Lightning dead right now. Now they've come back alive so we have uh, full strength for both sides here. Uh, let's see here what Lightning can do. Fraj off the start here. Uh, what's uh, you know, s stepping out to you or, or really uh, slapping you in the face of what these two teams are doing? Um, I don't know, Rays is just really mixed up right now, uh, they really need to, um, I don't know, that's a random question, they really need to really get back on their feet right now. They're doing a pretty good job holding their Uber, uh, in my opinion, but, uh, I don't know, they're just having a problem executing right now, and I think that's what's gonna, uh, let them pull ahead right here, is just execution. Well, right now... We have two scouts here for the blue side, and that will be Lightning. Uh, they're trying to get their number two back in their favor, and they will get it. They're about 98% there, and they do, even though we had Cyrax as the scout trying to prevent a little of that. Uh, but right now, the Rays is, come, or excuse, Rays is coming back very, very strong as the red side here on the number two CP, hoping uh, to get this back in their favor. Uh, they have a times two on it. We have scouts in the corner, Soldier on the left-hand side uh, also on that, and they get it back very quickly. So Lightning really had uh, couldn't really use that number two as an advantage there to pull out and push to the center CP. So now they're back on their heels once again. And as the 
Rays is pushing out. Let's see if they can really do some work here and, and get this uh, last CP in their favor and put this first round uh, away. Uh, they're making it very difficult uh, for themselves. Right now, we're going to listen into their war room of Rays and let's see what they are doing wrong or right. Uh, let's go to Rays right now, Limey. Damn it. Demo's dead. Get him. Get the medic, Evo. Come on. Let's go up top. Lost. Let's, let's go up top. Get the other five. Medic's dead. Someone hit the medic. Oh, why is that medic not dead? In all seriousness. <laughs> I'm a fucking failure. Now he's dead. We got this last. Good job. Nice. There you go. All right, we're back to live action, and there it is, Rays uh, getting that first round back in, or getting it in their favor there. So they will take an early one to zero lead. It looked like it was a little strenuous there. Uh, Fragile is trying to get that that uh, CP in their favor. Uh, most teams, uh, I guess, they, this is a difference a little between the CBO A and CBO P, but I may be a little harsh there, Frag. Uh, yeah, it's not a not really a difference between CBO A and CBO P. I mean, you will see a lot of CBO P teams struggle. Well, they get the uh, last point, so it's just a, like I said, just a matter of execution. Um, defense will throw out a lot of different things to defend uh, their last point, so sometimes it takes a little bit longer than usual. All right, right now we're back to the center CP here as we head into the second round. In case you just join us, you're watching Rays and a Lightning Bolt uh, for Cebo A. This is the map one of week one for these two teams, so they're coming out of the gates uh, fresh here. And uh, Rays has an early 1-0 to zero lead, and it looks like they're going to take control of this uh, neutral CP and get it in their favor. So they're going to be pushing out here to the uh, uh, Lightning's number 2. Let's see what transpires from this. It looks like they're making a nice heavy attack here uh, into the number 2. We have a soldier on there. It looks like Die make that a demo now of uh, Rays. Uh, they're going to get this. And they got it really quick with no resistance whatsoever from Lightning. I'm not sure what is going on with them. As they're pushing out, they have all six members alive and kicking. And this is not good to Merity uh, when you're pushed back this quick here especially in the start of a uh, second round. Yeah, they just kind of came out right out the gate and Lightning Bolt got absolutely leveled. They were all down at one point and that's how they didn't have time to fight back on their number two. And now they're just kind of all scrambled at their one and it looks like they might pull out of this okay. They might be able to get an advantage out of here, but I'm not. things aren't looking good for Lightning Bolt. Yeah, it looks like they're going to recover strongly here as it looks like Lost Cause is trying to move out of the uh, scene of the crime here and try to move back to the number two and try to... Oh no, he gets destroyed there by sure as the demo. But we do have the demo man for Ray's Hit a Duck as we're going to take a look at him. Limey, once we uh, look at Hit a Duck here as the first person as he's going to get some love from Miss X here. As uh, Miss X doing a nice job as a medic here, getting some love here to evil. Uh, right now, looks like we have an Uber here from... Uh, Lightning looks like they're trying to get back to number two. Let's see what happens here as it looks like we have uh, da -da -da -da, As I'm flipping around here Cyrax as the scout he's pushing off to the number last CP here He has it, it looks like he's gonna get in his favor and he does great job there from the Cyrax as he got that last CP by himself and kind of went stage left when everybody else went to the right side. So uh, good uh, watch there from him and it is now two to zero in the favor of Ray's Gaming. So now we're getting ready for the third round, and Tim, <laughs> talk about a little sneaky action there from uh, the Ray side. Uh, he got that CP very, very quickly there. Yeah, he did, and that's why you can never, I mean, if you're backed up against your one, you can never leave it unattended no matter what advantage you think you have, because scouts will backcap you, and Lightning Bolt just learned a very harsh lesson. So the battle continues here, transpires in the center CP, the neutral CP, and let's see here again, uh, we had... Uh, Rage just get this uh, CP with uh, pretty much no problem whatsoever and as we were saying yesterday when we were watching the defense again the de defense is the uh, the point that's really standing clear here uh, for the lightning side to as uh, again it seems like one of their weak points that they're gonna have to work on uh, possibly d during this week but again they're not out of it we're not going to count them out yet uh, right now they're putting a nice stand here at the neutral CP nobody has it in their favor yet but the red is about 70 percent there so let's see if the uh, the red side race can get this back we have a boost rocket boost there from evolution as he looks like yep that will clean everything up here as he takes out big thirst uh, with the shotgun so now uh, we have rays get the uh, center CP as they move out if you're the blue side besides the defense fragile what are you telling your team here to try to defend this this onslaught from rays um, they just need to not get so uh, 
They, they just need to keep their confidence, even if like they're not having so much luck on middle right now. They just need to have a, a good mindset of, yeah, you know what, we lost mid or we lost that fight, but let's just uh, gather up together and we'll get them next time, kind of thing. All right, right now we're going to head on over to Lightning's War Room. Lamy, let's head there now. We're back at one. Charge it. Well, hold her down. Charge it. Hit, hit me real quick. There's the Uber. Charge me. You gotta charge me. I you need to. Gotta do it. Just do it. Need rockets. Go hurry. They're coming out. Scout came out. Got it. Charge on respond. Scout down. Demo top. Scout fell. Just lobbing in. Oh shit. He's low. Demo's low. Demo. The Uber. Need ammo. I don't. I can scout on me. Just save it for this. Just save it for when you were. Watch above. Shit. Soldier down. Soldier behind you. All right, back to the action here. Three to zero, and Rays is looking really juicy here as uh, they're not having any problems whatsoever getting to uh, the last CP as of late. So they're doing a nice job there. Again, let's see if Lightning can uh, get, at least get a round in their favor and kind of change the momentum a little bit as as in the match of Monday, uh, Temerity, momentum was a big difference there for um, either side between uh, Start the Reactor and Sway. So uh, hopefully uh, we can see Lightning here try to change that. Uh, but right now they're going to have to really stop uh, Raze's uh, just onslaught that they're pushing out here on Lightning. Momentum is definitely a huge factor, but at the same time, you have to understand that you know Raze has obvi very obviously gotten their game together, and Lightning Bolt is just all over the place right now. So I don't think Lightning Bolt is going to pull out of this. All right, right now we have. Looks like we have one soldier here. That's Evolution, and along with the scout of Lost Cause on the center CP. Now he has some medic backup here, and it looks like they're going to get this in their favor, and they do. As they're going to be pushing out here to the number two of Lightnings, we have a scout on it. We have a soldier, uh, or excuse me, demo hit a ducks on there. Make that two scouts and a demo, and they got that really, really quick here. Two members still down for Lightning, only four alive. Uh, one of those being the scout and the demo man for Lightning. So let's see what Lightning can do here on their final CP, and it seems like a rerun here uh, for Lightning as they're just really defending this last CP. And here comes, uh, we have a Uber here uh, from Raze as they're getting to the last CP. Let's see what happens here as the last, oh, there goes Sure down by Die, and it looks like they're going to get this uh, last CP here, and they do, 4-0, to zero as uh, right now they're just, Raze is clubbing Lightning like a baby seal, and this is not pretty Aww. for Lightning, Fragile. Uh, no, it's not. At this point, they really need to do something random, do something unorthodox. Like, I don't know, run a heavy, use Kritzkrieg, do something, because uh, they seem to be doing almost the same thing for the first four rounds, and it's not going to work the first four. It's probably not going to work the fifth uh, time, so they really need to just pull something weird out of their ass. Well, right now we have, uh, looks like we have a soldier here on top of the boxes here, and that is Die. Die is doing some damage here as he's moving out. He's almost about dead there. Right now we have uh, Lightning in the center CP right now. Looks like they have it halfway in their favor. Uh, let's see if they have a times two. Oh, no, great shot there from Notorious and Sure taking out Die. Nice little combo deal there. We have a Demo Man and the uh, Medic here uh, for Lightning. And wow, a little change here in the plans as Lightning gets the center CP for the first time in this match. As now they're going to be the aggressors a little bit here. Let's see if they can use this to their advantage and push the number two of Raze here. Raze hasn't been really challenged on their defense as much. Uh, let's see what they can do here. They're going to be uh, defending the number two as it looks like we have Hit a Duck as the Demo just bouncing back and forth, getting those stickies all the way around. It uh, looks like uh, Lightning now is just taking their time, rushing from their right side into the number two, possibly trying to get an Uber ready. Uh, they have a soldier here, Big Thirst, along with Assure as the Demo Man and JK as the Meg, as they're going to be pushing in right now. And here comes the Uber charge here from uh, Lightning as they're pushing out. We have a Demo here on the corner of it. Let's see if they can get it in their favor. Great shot there from Big Thirst, taking out uh, the Medic here from Braze, as right now Sure is pushing out. And 
And there it is. They're going to get it in their favor. Times six, times five, and there it is. Lightning gets the, uh, the number two CP of Rays. Again, applying big time pressure here on Rays. Now Rays, a little difference uh, here to Merity as now they're really getting pushed back to their final CP. These teams are just determined to make me look like an ass. I don't know what the heck is going on here. First with SIR and now with Lightning Bolt, but they did exactly what they needed to do. They took out Ms. Rax right at the middle, and I don't know. We'll see if they can cap around here. Well, here we go. The, the uh, final CP is defended very well. Notorious uh, getting that for Lightning, but he couldn't get it, uh, quite get it done there as he died towards the end there. So right now, uh, again, they're, they're standing up. On one leg here, and that would be raised as they're on their final CP. Uh, let's see what here, what Lightning can do. Uh, if you're pushing out from the number two CP, what is the common p place uh, you would go here, Fragile? Left or right, or it doesn't really matter? As the attacking team? Yes, sir. Um, if you're facing the one, if you're facing the one uh, from the two, I would say more or less it happens to be the left side, or maybe that's just how uh, Pandemic does it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Actually, it, it's really situational as to how much pressure is on each side. But um, I don't know. It's uh, actually now that I think about it, you know, maybe scouts can go one side and everyone else can go another side. It's, it's as long as you attack from many different positions and keep them off their toes. It's uh, it's uh, it, it can help a lot. Right, right. So we're back here as it looks like uh, they're going to be attacking from their right side. Like coming from the number two, we have an uber charge here from Lightning from Notorious as he's trying to get on the uh, last CP. They do. We have Sure on here as the demo trying to get on it. We have Ray's Revolution trying to hold it off here. We do see a bottle slash there, but nothing going there. And yes, it looks like Lightning will get the fight. Oh, what a save from Cyrax as the Ow. pyro. Wow, what a tease that was. They had that CP almost in their favor. Cyrax with a clutch save on that last CP. He, right now he's going 1v1 with a two-step with the scout. Now he has a medic backup from Mithrax here. As uh, right now, great save from Cyrax. Now here comes the rest of Braze. Uh, all of them are alive and kicking. Oh, what a heartbreak there for Lightning. And that could really deflate, uh, deflate the momentum here big time of, of uh, Lightning uh, temerity there. That was very, very close. You know, I think it's safe to say that Cyrax wants to be in the Cat Face Club more. I think he showed it right there. I, he's definitely going to be like a, a VIP member after that one. <laughs> oh, what a save. That now, is the now most ridiculous save on the one I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> shouldn't have it happened. Was <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't no, have happened, but... They were, what, well, they were all pretty weak. in their favor? <laughs> Yeah, th that was just very, very close there. And uh, right now they're just gathering themselves here and then waiting for one more last uh, major push here from uh, Lightning. Let's see what Lightning can do here after that heartbreak on that CP. Now they're coming from the left side and they're coming very, very strong here uh, as they're going to be pushing into the last CP. We have an Uber charge here uh, from Lightning as they're trying to move. We have a counter Uber here from a Ray's Evolution here getting lit up here with the Medic and Mizrax as they're pushing out here. Great job here. Nice defensive stand here as they're pushing back Lightning back to their number two. Evolution doing a nice job of doing that here. We have Die uh, along with Misrax here taking out uh, G Bear, Gummy Bear. And uh, right now we have, it looks like Evolution pushing all the way back along with some help here from the Scout. And they get the number two back in their favor. Could this be a big time mishap here, Temerity, uh, from Lightning not getting that last CP? Definitely. I think the momentum is now in Reza's favor. And also something I noticed. Um, the medic for Lightning Bolt doesn't seem to build his uber very well. He hangs back and will just stand there not really healing anybody and building the uber causing, you know, whatever advantage they got from picking off Mizrax to go right out the window. All right, right now we have uh, hello, we have a sniper here from G Bear. Oh, he oh, nice double kill from Die taking out both the scout of two step and G Bear. So uh, desperateness may be kicking in a little bit as you were saying fragile as we see a sniper on it. Not too uncommon. Uh, but we haven't seen it quite yet from them, so they could be pulling everything out, and we'll be waiting for the kitchen sink very, very soon here. Uh, yeah, they're they're trying to do whatever it takes to get back in momentum, trying to get a lucky pick with a sniper, or just anything that'll go in their way, and currently none of that has happened right now. But, um, yeah, ever since that save on one, I would say their morale has shot down uh, below zero, so... Uh, they're just right now. They're just gonna try to get a, a a good push with some good picks, and then they'll try to uh, take it from there. 
All right, right now we're gonna head on over to Raze's War Room, Lamy. Let's go. I got the Save medic. My... Thank you. I got yeah. the medic. Thank you. We'll have you again. Right side combo. Let's get back. Get cap. it, Mikey. Get it. Watch the doors You're behind you. You're amazing. Wait, 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 wait. You're amazing. You're amazing. Brave faggot. Run. Run. <laughs> <laughs> What right scout? <laughs> Is that the second one? Very beautiful. Guy. I'm so good right now. Take I swear to God. <laughs> good. Oh, how are you on fire, man? Oh wow, they're taking their strat. Back up, back up, back up, Evo, Evo. Rave. Yeah. All right, back to action here. As you heard, do it. Uh, raise, and now we'll do it five to zero. Very, very quick and. What a momentum swing, what a buzz kill on that number one that was as Cyrax saved the day there and uh, really put this game away uh, for Rays Gaming and they will go 1-0 and as Lightning Bolt will now go to 0-1. All right, we're going to head do some shout outs here. Again, if you don't know how to do it, you can hit us up at uh, on the Game Search Network at pound e rev and uh, hit up to Merity as she's in there. Or you can do it at pound tf2.gather.us and she is in there also. Make sure you hit her up and she'll definitely get those out. Uh, I'm not sure if you have any now, Temerity, but uh, you do. Why don't you get those out over the airwaves? I have a couple from Check Six's Tech Nasty. Shout out to Wild Turkey. Shout out to Fragile's DDR skills. And shout out to Mizrax for being awesome. So he had a few things to say there. I'm glad we got those out for him. From Nil, a shout out to Ray's and Valley Girl Ms. Rax. Now, just because she's a girl doesn't mean she's a Valley Girl. Thank you. And Check Six is Justin says, Let me shout cast. Come on in, Justin. We'll see what you got. Yeah, no doubt about that. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to get Ray's in the uh, war or in the vent here, get a little post game interview as uh, they're already hitting me up already for the vent info. So uh, I'm not sure if you have any more, more temerity. But uh, why don't you let the people know, um, if you don't have any more shouts, what we have for them on Monday. On Monday, we have Zen City versus 50 Cal, formerly Awakening, formerly Relic. How many other names do they have? <laughs> Basically, Zero Skills and his crew coming in for you. That should be an interesting match for CVOP action. And yeah, Luke Harry says, I love you, Die, and Cyrax. So, I'm spreading the love here. <laughs> All right, I gave him the info, so they should be uh, here momentarily. That would be Ray, so it would be Cyrax and the rest of the uh, cast and characters of, of uh, their team. Again, uh, the time hasn't been established uh, for the 50 cal density match, uh, but uh, we will have that. Make sure you go to our website. I know it's horrible, but again, we are having our new site coded, so we will have something fresh for your eyes, hopefully, and the, uh, the eyesores that you're looking at probably right now will not be there probably after another week, so we're hoping for that. Um, also, Tuesday uh, next week, maybe Tuesday, maybe the following Tuesday. We haven't quite decided yet how we're going to, uh, which day, but it'll be one of the two. It'll be, uh, we'll have Project Anger, we'll have COD4 Community News, and along with TF2 Community News. And it uh, looks like we have the people coming in now, so I'm going to bring them in. Dude, that pyro kill was amazing by Cyrax. Thank this you. Team's got a, this, this team's got a lot of uh, good talent coming in for them. I, I know Rafiq from uh, Quake. I know Cyrax from Quake also. And I, I didn't play Quake. Or, or where, where, where were you from? TF, TF or RE3 or? COD4. No. Yeah. Alright. All right, gentlemen, welcome in uh, to uh, the E-Rev Studios here, as I want to make it sound really cool. Right now we have Cyrax, uh, we have Hit a Duck, we have uh, Deviator, and uh, looks like we have Dai in here from Ray's Gaming. Congratulations, first and foremost. Oh, well, move Brittany in here. Oh, Sorry. there she is. Hello, Brittany. Am I supposed to be in here, dude? I don't think Deviator. so. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nope, that was for the other match. I apologize as uh, I put him into the channel. Um, pro anger. Brittany, pro. hello. Ms. Rax, uh, hello. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? All right, all right. And I'm going to tell you first and foremost, I'm, I'm apologize right off the bat. I butchered your name. That was my bad. When you watch the archive, don't kill me. All right. Um, first off, I mean, I want to say... <laughs> 
right, Rex. That last save in that last round on the number one was a very, very clutch and, and epic. Um, why don't you talk about that really quick there as you're about, about to lose that number one, uh, very, very close there, about 98% in Lightning's favor. Talk about that a little bit there, Cyrex. Uh, well, I just figured either we were going to lose it in style or I was going to get everyone killed because I don't think anybody really watches that right side, especially since there's the uh, tires in the way. So I just, I don't know. I think I threw it during a pug the other day and it worked kind of well, so I pulled it in game. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, uh, we were watching Lightning uh, yesterday, Temerity and I, and one of the things that we saw was the defense uh, a little lacking there, something that I'm sure they're going to be working on. Uh, but that that could have been a hindrance, and it was in this match, and it, and it you know it crept up on them. Uh, did you guys notice a weakness in the defense at all um, when you guys were just pushing, mowing through in rounds two and three very very quickly there? Uh, they weren't very offensive at mid at all. We could pretty much just roll right through them and take it over. Yeah, we noticed that you guys. I mean, just pretty much all the way four rounds. I mean, it took you a little bit there in the first round. I think it was just trying to field them out a little bit. But once you guys saw what they were about, I think uh, it was pretty much green light for you guys to, to get that done. Uh, Temerity, do you have any uh, any questions or anything for the, uh, for the gents and ladies in the channel? Not especially. Just wanted to say good game. It was enjoyable watching, especially that last minute pyro action there. And I wish you luck in your next match. Thanks. No, I just want to say I got to throw props out to Zach for keeping them in the corner. Ah, that's pretty pro. Ah. Ah. Uh, fragile. Do you have anything for these uh, for the gents here and ladies for of Rays? Um, I just want to say that my buddy Cyrax totally came out as a pyro, and then later on the round he killed. He back capped and killed like five people by himself. I just want to say it was about time he stepped up and said, "Look, I'm a well endowed individual, and I'm going to go <laughs> see you through pyro flames." <laughs> so Thank Cyrex you, Fragile. Some sack. <laughs> that oh, <guy's> muscles. <laughs> well, no, it was fun. Thanks for casting us. That's awesome. Yep, I remember the last time we casted you guys was in COD 4 at the uh, LAN over in, in uh, Central California, I believe it was in uh, f between Fresno and Bakersfield there, somewhere in that vicinity of Vesalia, so uh, I got to meet you guys uh, up close and personal, at least a couple of you guys, so uh, it was very enjoyable, and uh, now we're casting you guys in a different genre, so it's good to see you guys back, and uh, I'm glad we casted you guys. Uh, before we let you guys go, I'd like to do something for everybody that comes in that, of the winning team, uh, any shout-outs uh, that you want to give uh, to anybody out there. First, I'll start with uh, Ms. Rax, why don't you start it off, Britt, with any shout-outs out there for anybody? Uh, I just want to give out a shout-out to Tech for being awesome. That's it. All Thanks, right, honey. Ty, what do you have? <laughs> oh, and sorry, uh, like sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then. Yeah, don't forget him. Uh, I'd like to give a shout-out to everyone at Luling, who watched my match. Thanks for supporting me. All right. Uh, Frat, or, uh, Cyrex, go ahead. Uh, my boy Rowinces, and uh, I guess Tech, and that's about it. Alright, alright, and last and definitely not least, the demo man himself, Hit a Duck, go for it bro, as you were lighting up the board there, in the match. Thank you, I'd like to say hi to Succubus, and uh, no one really else, cause y'all fucking suck. Hey Succubus! <laughs> <laughs> hi Brittany, right, thanks. I said shout out to you. He ran after that, Cyrex, it's okay. <laughs> All right, we appreciate you guys coming on by. Again, con congratulations. as a very impressive win there in the first uh, week. So I'm definitely sure we'll have you uh, probably in the coming weeks. We'll catch you guys again. So again, thanks for coming by, and uh, we'll see you next time. So uh, Temerity, uh, you have any last-minute shout-outs out there? Do you get any uh, couple more in there before we put this to bed? I don't have any from anybody else. I guess people were busy watching COD 4 or something. <laughs> they just don't want to shout out. We'll see you in the finals for CVA, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. They'll see you in the finals. I'll get over my flu and hopefully be there too. Alright guys, All right. see you later. Thanks again.
All right, have a good one. Fraj, uh, what do you have? Uh, any any shout-outs from anybody, or do you just want to give out one, a personal one? Uh, uh, no, no one PM me with any shout-outs. Uh, shout-out to uh, Cyrax for being such a stud, and shout-out to my English paper that I procrastinated doing to help with this match, and shout-out to my cat. Yeah, the cat loves the shout out. Three. That's that's two in a row from the Fradge to the cat, so I'm sure the cat's purring <laughs> very nicely there next to you, Fradge. Um all right. Well that's pretty much does it. Limic uh, from Canada, go ahead if you have any last minute words there. Definitely you can pimp out your uh, pro ga pro gaming T V uh, website there. Why don't you do that, bro? Uh, sure, if uh, you guys want to know all the action there is about casting, uh, just uh, tune your browser to ProGamingTV.com. And uh, meanwhile, I'm saving up some money to help you guys down in the States, and I might bail out one of your banks or something. I don't know. <laughs> all right. All right, thank you for the uh, financial concern there for our well-being here of our nation. Or bail me out of jail. <laughs> All right, again, ladies and gents, uh, the 29th of September, 50 cals density. Uh, definitely you can go to ProGamingTV.com uh, for the latest and greatest of the times uh, when we get that scheduled, or you can head on over to our site, which you should do anyway, at uh, e-rev.tv. So for myself, Anger, Temerity, and, of course, the Fragile from Pandemic and Limec would like to say good night, and until next time, adios. E-Rev, applied directly to the forehead. E-Rev, applied directly to the forehead. E-Rev is not responsible for any monitor to head-related injuries due to your own risk.